Hi, I'm Shai, coming to you from Quill Studios, deep in the clogged heart of the sharp, shuttered darkness of Wisconsin. <sighs> Six takes. Awesome. Today, we are drinking uh, Doom Tree from Surly Breweries in uh, Minneapolis. Um, it is a darker beer than I was expecting. Kind of got a nice head on it. Um, hold on a sec. Mm. And kind of a little citrusy. Um, it, it's pretty good. Um, I would probably give it uh, Momoko! Momoko! Shoulders! I would give it 7 out of 10. Yeah. Anyway, so on the back of uh, this can, try to hold it up so you can read it. Um, it's got a little kind of an essay by Dessa. Yeah, Dessa is definitely one of my uh, favorites, possibly my favorite person uh, in in the whole Rhyme Sayers Collective. Um, probably even Lynn Slug. Um, if you got a chance, I would check them out. Really good stuff. Okay, so you probably thought I was going to be talking about Dessa, but actually, I uh, went and saw uh, Shilpa Ray. Um, at the Turf Club on, what was it, I think it was Tuesday. Um, it was a, a pretty good show. Uh, she performed about 11 songs, pretty good for an opening act. Uh, and I was really excited to, uh, to meet up with Janitor Lunacy uh, at, at the venue. Um, we had a great time uh, talking about baby metal. And I'm kind of new to Shilpa Ray. I'm, I'm, I've known of her for a couple of years. I know a couple of her songs. Uh, so it was really great to go there, um, see you know more of her repertoire, and I had a, a really great time. Um, I would say probably eight out of ten. Right. So there was no low girl this week, which kind of sucked, but it was also kind of nice uh, not having to get up at like quarter to five in the morning to try to catch it. Uh, not that it, you know. I'm not complaining. Anytime I can watch Little Girl, that's great. Uh, since we did not have Little Girl, um, something we do have brand new this week from Sakura Gakuen uh, are these uh, new promotional shots. I'll put a, a link here so you can follow follow along, play along at home. Uh, but and then I'll hold it up to the screen so you can sort of see. Put that on still store. All right. Okay, so. Who, who won the promotional photographs? Um, there's uh, a lot of strong competition here, obviously. Um, if you look at it column by column, um, column one is really tough. You got Reno and Sara, Megami, um, but uh, Reno and flaring out her skirt, I think she won that one. Second column, you got Saki, Mirena, Momoko, Momoko, shoulders, come on. Jeez. And you also got uh, Kano. Um, and yeah, I think Kano wins that. I like her hair there. Third column, you got uh, Saki Aiko, uh, I should say Sitan Aiko, Maya, and Soyoka. Um, really like Aiko's hair. She usually doesn't impress me that much. Uh, Saki's got gray hair too. Everyone has really brought their A hair game to, uh, to this. Um, but I would give the third column to Soyoka just because she's awesome. Um, and I'll get to that later. Uh, overall, who won? Who was the big winner? Um, the president. El Presidente. Renown won the promo shots. Oh, it's true. Uh, okay, for announcements. Um, well, this is pretty... Momoko! Shoulder! C come, come on! Shoulders! Uh, for announcements. Um, 
this, this is pretty exciting. I'm excited. Uh, I've been made an admin at the Megane of Yoshida Soyaka. Um, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. This is uh, my second adminership. I'm already uh, admin at SG Worldwide. Um, these are all Facebook pages. Um, so anyway, thanks to Anthony Chan and Roel. Um, I'm looking forward to working with you and promoting our new Kawaii Overlord. Uh, the only other announcement I have is um, I will be receiving a shipment from Asmart. Should be here tomorrow. So there'll be an unboxing video coming up in the next two, three days. So those are fun, right? Okay, the, to get to the heart of the matter, the main uh, content here, um, I uh, have been collecting merch now for over a year uh, with, a, I guess, a particular focus on uh, t-shirts. I've got like, t not quite 20, I've got like 18 shirts. Um, when my merch comes in this next shipment, I'll be up to 20. Uh, so obviously it's a lot of shirts. Um, some of them very expensive and um they're all my preciouses so obviously the important thing is to figure out how to store them uh the best way to store them and to preserve their integrity now when it comes to storing uh merch t-shirts uh there's a few different schools of thought um there's uh you can basically uh, boil them down to hanging them folding them or rolling them um and they each have their own particular um, sets of pros and cons. Uh, with folding, um, folding is a good way, like if you're gonna be storing them in a drawer to, uh, to store things, um, you can either fold them kind of in half, or they're there, just basically, like it says, in half, or in thirds. Um, if you're gonna fold them, I would suggest folding them into thirds uh, you because uh, basically you don't get quite a sharp of a crease on them and that's really the big problem with uh, storing them folded is you, you crease the ink uh, and can ruin its integrity so it's really not a great way to go um, I like with these shirts that I held up I do sometimes fold them um, the only shirts I fold are ones that I have duplicates of or like maybe ones I bought at Hot Topic, you know, they're not uh, anything special. All right, the next way to store them, uh, and probably the most popular way to store them um, from people I've been talking with is on hangers. I, I totally avoid uh, hanging shirts uh, just for the reason that when you, when you hang them up, um, especially if you're not, uh, if, they're, if they're hanging there for a while, after a while you kind of get these bumps on your shoulders that kind of permanently stay there. Momoko! Shoulders! We've been through this! We've been through this! Okay, um, so again, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend, uh, hanging them, um, although I know, uh, a lot of people that do, and they, they don't seem to mind. I guess it, it, it really depends on your personal taste, how fussy you are, uh, maybe how handy you are with an iron, which I am not. Um, I'm, I would be way too scared to put uh, uh, a heating element near my shirts. That's just me. All right, and then we've just got the third way, uh, which is rolling, like this. Uh, it's uh, a little bit better than than folding because instead of a, a you know a sharp crease uh, like with like if you if you roll paper, what the hell is it? There it is. Roll paper, you know, it, it doesn't damage the integrity of the paper. Like if you were to fold it and make a permanent crease in it, then I mean, look at that. What man would want you now? So yeah, I, I just I go with the uh, um, the roll. The major drawback of rolling them is it's horrible for. Uh, presentation as you can see here you just got like a maybe the top six inches of the shirt um, but that's like you know that's the price I pay um, to avoid creases and shoulder problems Momoko come on shoulders <sighs> oh 
Okay, so that is pretty much all I got. I would be really interested in knowing what uh, any viewers' preferences are when it comes to storing uh, shirts. Uh, if they have any other methods that I didn't mention, I would be really interested um, in hearing about that. That would be pretty... Momoko! Come, shoulders! Don't give me that look! Wipe that look off your face. Don't. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, so check me out on uh, Twitter. I'm at ShaiFuke. Uh, my blog is ShaiFuke at blogspot.com. Email me at ShaiFuke at uh, gmail.com. And until next time. See you.